Hi everyone, um, Rachel Mooney here with the Mooney Group. I hope you're doing great today. On this beautiful Wednesday, it's starting to be very pretty outside. Um, just wanted to come to you and share a little bit about um, some, actually some stuff you need to do as a buyer before you start looking for property. Uh, we're in the spring season now. We're getting a lot of buyers that are coming our way. And um, some buyers are ready, some buyers are not ready yet. So I felt like this would be some good information if you're starting to look for property, some things that you need to make sure that you go ahead and do prior to, uh, to starting your search. So the number one thing that you need to do is know your location and know your timing. It usually takes about 45 days to, um, from a contract to close. So if you are in a rental now and you've got 90 days on your lease left, this might be a good time to go ahead and get started in the process, um, especially if you're looking in a very competitive price point. Um, and I'll talk a few minutes um, about that as well. But know your, your timing and know the location you want to be. So if you're tr uh, working in Atlanta or in town or midtown or Buckhead, um, but you're trying to move outside of the city, then take into consideration the timing that you need for travel. Um, being on the interstates, um, are you trying to be around um, local shopping or restaurants or schools? Take all that in consideration before you start looking at property. A lot of times we'll have buyers come to us and they don't know really where they want to be. So we're spending a lot of time just trying to find out about their lifestyles and how we can best um, figure out what they're trying to accomplish in their location. So if you're a boat person and you're wanting to be next to the lake on Lanier, we can certainly help you with that. Or if you're trying to be in the city and be in Midtown or Buckhead and condo living, we can help you with that too. But we have to know that and you have to know that exactly um, going into the situation so that we can help you with those needs. So that's number one is knowing your location and knowing your timing. Um, number two is um, meet with a lender and know your comfort zone. Know where exactly where you want to be on your monthly payments. Um, we work with Mark Dukes with Fairway Mortgage. Um, we have worked with him for years. Phenomenal lender. And he can talk to you over the phone. He can talk to you through email, through his app. And he can get you pre-qualified and ready to go. Um, a lot of times, People think they're ready to purchase, but they might have some stuff on their credit or they might not have enough work history. He can help guide you um, into getting you prepared. So if it's not this moment in time, it might be another six months or a year, but he can help guide you through that situation as well as he can tell you what your comfort zone is. So if we need to be looking at $150,000 price point or $400,000 price point, he will let us know that. He will get you a commitment letter as well, which is going to help us through negotiations of a contract. Um, if you are in the price points of under $200,000 or under $250,000, you are in a very competitive situation right now all across Metro Atlanta. Um, when there's just not a lot of property in these price points. And so when they're coming on the market, they are um, getting offers left and right from investors. These are cash investors that are trying to buy these properties and use them for rentals, um, as, long, as well as you're competing against every other buyer that's trying to find in that price point. So having a commitment letter from a lender is certainly going to help you um, make your offer look a little bit better. So that's number two is talking to a lender and finding out exactly what your comfort zone is before we actually go out and look for property. The third thing is, is I want you to sit with a realtor, have a buyer's consultation. Um, our buyer's agents, we have buyer's consultations. We spend some time with you prior to getting you in the car, finding out exactly what your needs and your wants are. It's more than just a three bedroom, two bath home with a basement um, in a certain school district. We wanna know your lifestyle. We wanna know what um, gets you excited, what you like to do on the weekends, um, anything and everything we can find out about you to help you with that search. When we are um, working with you, you become our client, not just our customer. Um, as a client, we can consult with you. We can educate you um, and give you counsel in the process of purchasing a home, not just a customer. If you're a customer of ours, we can't coach you and consult you and counsel you. Only if you are a client. Our services are free as well for buyers. A lot of buyers don't understand that. We're paid for um, by the listing 
um, or the seller. So our services for a buyer is absolutely free. So you should be using us. Um, don't just call the listing agent on the sign. Call um, your realtor that's working on your behalf. Um, if you are actually looking on Zillow or Trulia or Realtor.com, you're going to call an agent. When some of those agents um, pay for advertisements there. Some of those are listing agents, and you're calling them to get information on the property. Well, their main goal is to represent the seller, not to represent you, the buyer, on your behalf. So you have to have somebody on your behalf to negotiate for you. Same thing with new construction. Um, we represent buyers all the time in new construction. Um, when we're going into a new construction community, those on-site agents are representing the builder and the builder's behalf, not the buyer's behalf. And so we do a lot of that. Actually, this year, I think we've got eight or nine new construction um, contracts already alone, just working with buyers and representing them through the whole process. So um, we are available for that as well. So really, um, when you are a buyer, it is really important that you build a relationship with a buyer's agent to work on your behalf. Um, and again, those are, they're free. So those are the three things that I really think that could benefit somebody um, before they start looking for a home is number one, knowing their time and location. Number two, talking to a lender and finding out their comfort zone, making sure they're prepared to purchase a property. And number three is getting into a relationship with another realtor to help them through the process. Um, as a matter of fact, just as a funny example, I got a call about three or four days ago from a property that someone found on Zillow. And no, not knocking Zillow or anything, but a lot of times their data is incorrect. And they were asking to show a property that we had on the market two years ago and it had already sold. Um, but it was still showing on Zillow. I don't know where that information came from, but a lot of times the information that is on the web can be a little lagging or delayed. So when you're working with a realtor, they're going to not just set you up on a search, but they're going to do custom searches on your behalf for you every single day that's in the multiple listing service. So they're in the system, they're digging around, and they're seeing exactly what's coming on the market, what's going active, pending, and sold. So they're going to get you the most recent data versus if you're online plugging around on your own, you might not get that most current information. So um, those are the three pointers that I have. We would obviously love to work with you. Um, I focus in on Forsyth County. Um, we've got buyer's agents that focus in Gwinnett County and Buford and Flowery Branch, Gainesville, Cherokee County, wherever you're trying to locate, we're here to help you and want to help you. So feel free to check us out online on YouTube. You know, you can always hit me up on Facebook. Now we're going towards Instagram and um, if we can help you with anything, we would love to. So I hope you found this information helpful and have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.